In New York City's Staten Island, workers are feeling empowered. In April, employees at Amazon's JFK 8 warehouse voted to form the first ever union at the United States' second largest private employer. It was one of the biggest victories in the history of the U.S. labor movement. Former warehouse worker Chris Smalls is the movement's leader. You know, when the people come together, we have all the power. They can have all the money, but we proved that we can beat them with ordinary people on April 1st. And uh, once again, if we don't get our contract, we'll shut it down. Smalls was fired by Amazon after he organized a protest outside a warehouse in the early days of the COVID-19 pandemic. But he didn't give up and went on to achieve a stunning victory. The Amazon Labor Union is calling for better pay, job security and safer working conditions. I want people to have livable wages instead of slave wages. I've seen people getting fired for two minutes off the clock. I see people getting fired for sitting just on the stairs. Chris Smalls wants to help other warehouses unionize. The young people got to stand up. This is this is the new new school labor movement. As you can see, this is what new school organizing look like. And we're just the beginning. And once again, as I mentioned multiple times, this is the revolution. Union organizers wait at the bus stop every day to speak to Amazon employees as they head to work. So you're gonna be on board the vote next week? Yes, I'm gonna be here. Workers are often forced to attend anti-union meetings. Union busting is actually uh, a campaign that is anti-union, where you will have people that are paid to come in and act like workers to sow discord, you know, to bring up propaganda, to talk negative about a union, uh, to get workers to vote no. This job ad posted by Amazon on LinkedIn back in 2020 advertises an intelligence position to track labor organizing threats. In a leaked video, Amazon lays out its stance on unions. We do not believe unions are in the best interest of our customers, our shareholders, or most importantly, our associates. Amazon spent around $4.3 million on consultants last year in an attempt to prevent unionization of its warehouses, according to company filings. France 24 reached out to Amazon for comment but got no response. The Amazon labor union's success is inspiring other organizing efforts at high-profile American corporations, including Apple, outdoor apparel store REI, and Starbucks. These Starbucks employees just voted to form a union. They are thrilled. When they came in, I gave them the biggest hug. Oh, really? <laughs> I was so excited because... Thank you. No, literally, like, we got, like, two, like, the first three votes, like, two of them were already no, so I already got, like... A little anxious. Yeah, I got a little anxious, so I was like, oh, my God, like, we're not going to win. But they yeah. did win, becoming the 41st U.S.-based Starbucks cafe to unionize. Edwin Palma Solis was one of the union organizers. I felt very, you know, accomplished, you know. I feel like I was part of a big movement. The starting salary for Starbucks employees in New York is $15.50. Edwin has a college education, but on his Starbucks salary, he can't afford to pay rent on his own. He lives with his aunt and uncle and contributes as much as he can. I've been working like 50 hours, which is insane. <laughs> uh, again, because I'm constantly picking up shits. Their store is closing down again because, you know, they're understaffed. The COVID-19 pandemic and a shortage of workers have fueled the rise in union activity. You might have like a lot of money and you have a lot of power, but I feel like there's more power in numbers and there's more power in the people that get you your money. You know, like without us, Starbucks is not a thing at all. You know, we are Starbucks. Workers at some 250 other Starbucks cafes across the country are trying to form unions. Professor Ruth Milkman is teaching a sociology class at CUNY. She's an expert on the American labor movement. The success of Amazon's union organizers took her by surprise, as the union movement had been in decline for decades. It's kind of stunned by this. We're definitely seeing a revival. Whether it's enough to turn the tide in a sort of big way, I think it's too early to say. But there's a lot of interest among young workers, especially in unions now. As I like to say, unions are cool again in a way that they haven't been for a long time. Unions have a long history in the United States. 32BJ was founded in 1934. 32BJ! It 
It represents some 150,000 building workers across America, including 30,000 doormen, superintendents and handymen who work in New York City's apartment blocks. They're protesting on Park Avenue, home to New York's wealthiest. They're threatening to go on strike. They worked right through the COVID-19 pandemic. They're furious that their bosses want to cut some of their benefits. During COVID, we were, we were deemed essential workers, so now we want to be treated as essential workers. We want the fair pay. We want our benefits not to be, not to be messed with. We want... We just want fairness, that's all. The union bosses are excited to see a revival in the labor movement. We're on the precipice of a new era in this country, an era of workers, where workers are empowered and employers know that they have that power. The union reached a tentative agreement with the Realty Advisory Board to avoid a strike. For the newly formed Amazon labor union, the battle is not yet won. There were tears amongst organizers after the ALU lost a vote to form a union at a second warehouse in Staten Island. And the day this is a marathon, not a sprint, and we all know that, you know, these workers should be nothing but happy that they brought a trillion dollar company to the brink of uh, an election. So, Despite this setback, Chris Smalls and the ALU believe that the union train has been set in motion. The union train they're helping over 100 other Amazon warehouses across America to organize union votes. Come and get on board.